<laughs> Good morning, everyone. It is day one of the Ashy Bones Booty Program. That's you, baby. That's you. Oh no, can't have the camera. Just waiting for Taj's bottle to heat up. He gets cranky without his milk. It's okay, Papa. Mmm. -hmm. <laughs> that means he wants it. I've had my 500 mils of lemon water um, and it's pouring down rain and I've actually woken up with a bit of a headache, which is not a good start. But I have my periods, so mm. always get a bit of a headache. My skin breaks out. I just don't feel as good as none of us, none of us do. But we're going to go and get this little man's bottle and then Steve's going to look after Taj while I go for a walk. Then I'm off to do day one home version when we do it at the space at the gym. So, mwah, speak to you soon. Say bye. Who's that handsome boy? So it's pouring down rain outside day one. Anyone that knows me, I love starting my day with my fat burning walk outside. I like being in the fresh air. I like to take Scooby. I like to take Taj. And it's not happening today so here's a lesson that it's not always going to go to plan um even when you've got a really really good plan to follow so you really just need to adjust now in my situation and we all have different situations no one's easier no one's harder um so no comparing but steve is home so he's able to look after taj while i go to the gym do my fat burner and do my workout um if I did not have a partner at home, I would hire a treadmill or buy a secondhand one to have at home and just do it in the lounge room where Taj was playing with his toys. Or I would go this afternoon, or I would ask a family friend to look after him. I would just find a way to do it, do it in my lunch break, do it when he's sleeping. I would just find a way to do it. So I advise everyone, if you're in that position on the Gold Coast where it's raining, to find a way. It definitely is a little bit harder for mums. I feel we've got more to think about and more to do, um, but... I mean, everyone's got their hearts, so choose your heart. I'm at the gym now and I'm just going to weigh myself in. Weighing in for me isn't all about the numbers, as we have these scales here that actually measure your body fat percentage and your muscle. So I don't go all off what I weigh because if you were to do that, it's not going to give you an accurate reading. Now the bad thing with me weighing in today is that I have my periods, my hormones will be off and down, your water can change, so it's not the, the best day to weigh in. I'm still going to do it just for a, just to keep track, but the best way to see your progress is just by taking the before and after photos, because then you can physically see everything that's going on, rather than just being obsessed about a number, because let's face it, that never makes any of us feel good. It just doesn't. And if that number hasn't changed, but you've been doing really well, it can be really demotivating. So I do this because I'm not, I don't get obsessed about it, I don't get upset about it, it doesn't rule my day. If it's gone up or down, I'm like, eh. But by photos, that's where you can really see the truth starting to come through. So, but yeah, I just thought I'd give you guys an up to date because today's vlog is my day one of the booty challenge. So, yeah. Love that scene. And I have all, all the treadmills to myself because the class is just about to start over there. And I'm going to jump on the treadmill. <laughs> Treadmills can definitely be boring, so I'm going to probably pop some YouTube channels on of my favourite YouTubers just to kill some extra time. Alright, the speed of what you walk at is going to be different depending on the brand of your treadmill, depending on how tall you are, um, but don't complicate the walk, hey, just walk. <laughs> so I think I go at a speed of about 7, and no incline, this is just a power walk, it's not meant to be something that gets your heart rate like crazy high or anything like that. It's just a walk. Alrighty, I'm going to be over and out until I finish my workout. Good morning, Chelsea. Good morning. Excited to film my workout? Yes. Are you just excited to see me? Yeah, very excited, especially <laughs> this time of morning. <laughs> Chelsea is not a morning person. Okay, girls, so I'm now, well, I've been at the gym for 45 minutes, but we're about to do day one of the booty program. Today I've chosen the at-home workout. I've done the booty program obviously many times and I really love the at-home version for day one, but we're doing it at the gym because it's got a lot more space and Kate and Jess are also going to join me. So, wish us luck. Jess is one minute, she's got until seven, and I asked one of them to bring me a banana because I'm starving and I forgot one. I don't like eating before my work, she's got a banana. She's got a banana! 
was like, it's just late. I was like, no, 6.59. No, on time, as usual. I'm just At 6.58, I was like, why are they all late? Which I was like, no, they've got two minutes. <laughs> dynamic warm-up which is really important to do before every single session to help prevent injury and just warm your muscles up especially if you haven't exercised before you're very likely to rip a hamstring or something if you don't warm up so this is something I really don't want anyone to skip and it literally takes like a minute to do so starting off with both of our leg swings Bloody dancer when she does it. I can't even get to the floor. <laughs> All right, Chelsea, come film me. So what I find with a lot of girls is they really struggle to engage their butt and the front of their legs, their quads seem to take over. This is something that I like to do still to this day, even though I feel like I'm pretty good at engaging my glutes, my butt muscles, is to just do some butt raises before I even get started. So three sets of 20, really slow, squeeze up and, and really squeeze your butt muscles and lower back down. So I'll show you that right now and do this for every workout and it'll really awaken the muscles that you actually want to work. The workout's done. <laughs> it wasn't actually too bad. I mean, it was hard, don't get me wrong. And I've seen a couple of girls stress that they're, I think I'm meant to be looking here actually, but I keep looking up at myself. I don't know where I'm actually meant to be looking in this camera. Um, there's Tracy. Hang on. I'm just vlogging about day one of the booty program. Oh, yay, exciting morning, girls. What good timing. So Tracy is your support sister on the forum. Yay, so Tracy does all the support emails. What else do you do for me? Look after the Facebook forums, um, merchandise, you just, booty tour. You're just pretty amazing, Trace, let's face Thanks, it. Dave. How long have you been working for me for? Since 2012, so four and a half years wow. now. Wow, that's a long time. Very long time, love it. That was very good time, we got to introduce mm -hmm. you. <laughs> Morning, girls, have a good day. Can't wait mm. to see how, how, I, how our day one went. Oh, it killed me, that's what I'm talking about. Bye, Bye. see you, babe. She's amazing. Anyways, I've seen a couple of girls stress about their quads and feeling like it's going to burn. So as you would have just seen, I showed you how to really activate your butt. But do remember that this program works your whole body. It's not just your butt. It's focused around your butt, but you're going to feel your calves, your quads, your abs, your upper body. You're going to feel everything. And if you're following the, nut the nutrition plan, you're going to lose weight everywhere. Um, not just in your legs. You can't actually point somewhere and go, oh, I'd like to lose weight there, please. It's not how it works. So everywhere's going to be sore, but you really want to be thinking about engaging your butt the most. So anyways, I'm off, off home. I'm either going to make the chocolate crepes or the breakfast smoothie. I haven't quite decided. Both are delicious. Mm. You'll have to wait and see. <laughs> Right guys, I'm in my kitchen and I'm going to make the breakfast protein smoothie. I'm adding in my ingredients. <laughs> Taji, I need 50 grams. <laughs> he probably wants some. Of raw oats. 250 mils of water. You guys have the, if you have the app, you have the recipe. But anyways, that's what I'm making. I'm going to do that now because it's very hard with one hand. Um, and then I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, here's my smoothie. Definitely a bit clumpier than what I would have liked. Is it yummy, Baba? Oh, you want mum's too, but you've got your own. So I'm at my desk now. Oh, is it going to focus? I've got my smoothie, it's nice and thick. Probably should have blended it for a little bit longer, but it's definitely gonna fill me up because of the oats in there and the protein powder 
And I actually used vanilla protein powder instead of chocolate, but it is so good. So today I just thought as a part of my vlog, I would show you exactly what I'm eating with the meal plan with the booty program. Obviously you girls are all doing it if you're watching it. Um, you have your set meal plan or you can pick and choose which meals you'd like to have on what day. And there's also a list of meals um, that's optional that you can chuck in whenever, which are really simple, easy meals. So if you don't have a lot of time to prep your food or make some of the meals in the plan, then you can always go to that like, I call it my emergency list. If I'm unprepared or I just am flustered or I don't know what to, don't know what to cook, that's what I go to. But I also like that list because it is just so easy. So today is gonna to be one of those. It's just salmon and my favorite approved vegetables and salads. So I'm just gonna be cooking up some fresh salmon. These are all the salad ingredients I'm having today on my salad. I'm body type B, so that's everything I'll be eating. And if you're ever hungry, you can always go back to the list of approved foods and there's foods that you can have unlimited amounts. So you can never have to go hungry. I'm also gonna make my own dressing, which is just gonna contain a full lemon, some crushed ginger, and some salt and pepper to put over my salad, and that'll be it. So this is my lunch. I've got a nice, massive salad, so I definitely shouldn't be hungry, but yeah, like I said before, you can always add heaps more of those approved foods in your meal plan. After I've finished eating this, I'm just going to prep tomorrow's food. I'm going to make the shepherd's pie from meal plan A. I've also made a pretty similar one to um, in Kittens in the Kitchen, and it's just a hit in my household. Steve loves it, I love it. I love that it's incorporated into my meal plan, so I'll prep all that up and show you guys that as well. For my snack today, I'm just gonna have some almonds and a cup full of berries. So I've got raspberries, blueberries, and strawberries. And if I need another snack on my plan, it says I can have 40 grams of dark chocolate, so don't mind if I do. <laughs> so I'm also prepping a shepherd's pie, and I'm not doing just enough for me, because I obviously have to think of my husband as well, so I cooked enough for his serving as well for tomorrow's lunch. Um, so what I've done is I've done the sweet potato, it's just steaming now, and then I'll just mash that. Got the mince all cooked, which I just added a tin of tomatoes in there as well. I've grated some cheese, and then I'll pop it all into the oven. Bob, your uncle. So that is going to be tomorrow's lunchtime. On my fridge, I have my 28 day calendar so I can visually cross off each day that I successfully do well. And if I don't, maybe I'll do it in a different color. But I've also taken a day planner and I've actually written down everything that I'm going to eat on each day. You don't have to do that. And on, on your app, I don't know where my phone is, you do have a set meal plan, or like I said before, you can pick and choose your own meals. So that's what I've done because at the moment, I'm just really off eggs. I don't like eggs, so I don't want to eat eggs in the morning, so I've replaced it with the protein smoothie or the high protein pancakes or the crepes um, and just put it all up there. Why do I do that? Because if I don't, I just find I'm gonna not be as organized, be a bit scattered, and I'm just a structured person that likes to see exactly what I'm doing because when I plan, that's when I succeed. If I forget to plan, I'm not prepared, that's when I, I seem to not do as well. So to me, that, that works and I would advise to do that. So this container actually ended up making three servings, so which is amazing. So two of those are mine, and then the extra large piece is for Steve. So I'm stoked that I ended up making way more than what I thought. It's also a really cheap meal, which is even better. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed day one of the booty program with myself, and I hope you guys have smashed it, and I'll be speaking to all of you on our next live chat. Mwah.